She was, uh, in addition to being, uh, you know, a person with a mission, she was also uh, just a powerhouse for institutional um, building, changing. She was brought in to put in a very large change. Uh, my understanding was that there was just doctors and, and, and nurses, a couple of aides running the shop, the, the woodworking shop. And she was going to bring in uh, occupational therapists and physiotherapists and the music therapists. And that those people were going to go out into the teams, they were going to form teams, and they were going to revolutionize the hospital. The hospital, especially the doctors and the nurses, didn't really think that was necessarily a good idea, but they had been ordered by the, uh, the head of the hospital to comply. And so uh, there was a, a lot of very ferocious back and forth about turf and uh, whether rehab people were welcome, whether they could do anything. Um, almost the first day on the job for me, uh, I was asked to go to the fourth ward and withdraw the services of the rehab. Which, being new, I assume maybe we do that all the time. And so they invited me into the meeting and, and they said, do you, is there anything you'd like to say? And so I said, yes, I'm Moyer said, well, we're withdrawing the services. And there was this look of absolute hatred from all these 20 people in the room. <laughs> and I realized that there was more to this than I knew. And uh, it was a maneuver that she was doing for some particular purpose, that uh, hardball, we call that, institutional hardball. 